we go restart. We go back upstairs to the tarot cards. And we'll, uh... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Ugh. Day eight. House fire. Alright, I decided to leave this whole problem with the voice for a while and focus on finding the killer of our old woman. This may help us to find out what is happening with the town in the long run. One of the suspects is Henry Saunders, a very hot-tempered young man. He worked in his father's shop and often delivered groceries to our old woman. Old woman being grandmother. I don't know if I keep saying old woman. In July 1904, a fire broke out of this home on Durham Road 2nd. Should be the 2nd of Durham Road. Only one body was found inside. It was heavily burned, but we recognized as Henry's wife by her jewelry. Saunders himself is mysteriously missing. I suppose he could rob our old woman and set his house on fire to fake his death to quietly leave the town. To confirm this, I need to know what exactly happened during the fire. Send the survivor's dossier. So now do you, So that's a little trick. We're not sending the killer. We're sending the survivor. Because he, he didn't necessarily kill. He just survived. Send the location of the survivor during the fire and mark where he is now. Okay. Uh, let's go upstairs first and get this out of the way. Actually, I don't know if we need this right now. The lovers. The emperor. Empress? Oh, come on. Can you just tell me right away I don't need it? Justice. Alright. Now I can pull the one that matters. It is the world. The world is number 21. The person is still alive. What? Oh, oh yeah, because he survived, obviously. Alright, well, we know that. It's good to know. So she died... Oh, we don't have the hour. Oh, fuck. Okay. We technically need the hour. I just wasted so much fucking time. <laughs> Can we not? July 22nd. It's cancer. 69. And it's the water. So the last letter of the name, first name, A. A is a one. Blue goes to one. And the surname has identical letters. Does it? Oh, shit. No. No. Oh, shit! Yikes a fucking rony, dude. Okay, so there is... So Saunders, this S is there. So there's identical letters. Then the key letter of the surname is the last one. S. Alright. S is a three. So red goes to three. Alright. So this confirms... Oh yeah, we already know what the year is. It's 1904. Got it. The month is the 7th month, July. The day was the 20th. And the hour is the 12th, but it's at night, so at another 12, it's 24. Am I right? What? July 22nd, 1904. Apparently it's the 22nd. No. What the fuck am I fucking up here? God damn. Oh no! Oh, she almost did it again to me, that bitch. Oh. God, I hate her. 
So now we have it so that the year is 1904. We know that for a fact. We know the month is the 7th, okay? We know the day is the 22nd, okay? And the hour is the 7th. Oh, so that's where we got the 7th. Okay, 7 a.m. too. Got it. I think I just heard whispering. Upstairs. Too late. Uh, I'm a crazy bitch. I'm a fucking so good. I'm on top of it. Go. Bye, bitch. Go back in the mirror. So, Henry Saunders, you died. <laughs> seventh hour, seventh month, 22nd day of 1904, July 22nd, 1904, 7 o'clock. Yep, this is it. Where were you, pal? Where I expected you to be. Where was Sophia on the same day? Fuck off. Huh. Surprisingly, she was probably at her parents' house on Pinner Street. Look at that. Shocking on. So now, so we have the survivor's dossier would be Sophia. Location of the survivor during the fire, Pinner Street, 12th, 12th Pinner Street, which is where her family lived, if I do so recall. It was on Pinner Street, didn't say which one. Mark, and where he is now, which I don't think that's the case. Um, 22nd hour, December 1st, 1904. I'm sorry. 22nd hour. Okay, got it. One, two. And it's the... Oh, I still good. Uh, December 1st. Still 1904? Yep, okay. Here we go. Okay, let's go report it. Other way. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Fuck you, bitch! Oh, okay, send the survivor's dossier. The survivor would be the killer, Sophia. Clue, send location of the survivor during the fire. Um, so during the fire, when he died, that, and then currently, same location. Send it. So it was a Mr. Saunders who died, and not Mrs. Saunders? We found her at her parents' house. The poor girl burst into tears. As soon as she saw the officer, decided to ask her about possible dream, she looked at me shocked. Showed that the voice of the saint had ordered her to punish her cruel husband. The amazing thing is that she is sure that this voice was a woman's. Henry Saunders can't be our murderer, but I'll keep digging. Let's try to find out which of the possible suspects recently got rich. <clears throat> Alright, day nine. Black Sheep. Good movie. Alright, our next suspect, Miss Danton, is an old lady and a longtime acquaintance of our grandmother. In October 1904, Miss Danton announced that she had won a check for $40,000. In 1904... Whew. And a week later, her four grandchildren and sole heirs came to visit their lonely old la lady for the first time in 15 years. Shock. Yeah, funny coincidence. Another surprise coincidence was that soon Miss Danton died peacefully at her home at Glover Street, on the uh, 16th Glover Street. Determine which of them could have killed her. Until then, I will check whether she really won the money or she just visited our old woman. So, send the killer's dossier. Send results of the victim's reading of the tarot cards. 
Send the result of the killer's reading of the runes? We got something new. Oh boy. All right, so where are the runes? Closet. Ah, here we are, all the way in the fucking back. Oh, so we, we can't really do this first day. We need to figure out who the killer is. Oh shit! I never know what this means. I never know what this means. I'm always so confused. Freshy, love me. Stop. Okay. One of us is the killer. Yes, correct. Okay. Tarot cards first. Anywho, shake that deck. Oh, nice. Speed running. The magician. Killer used the false identity, used the runes. Oh, but of course! Rune stones will allow you to find the secret person located on the side. Bitch. Alright, I have to go all the way through. Okay. Um, how does this work? Put the suspect dossier on the stand. Make sure that the ritual candle is... Okay, well, I can't do that yet. I still don't know who the killer is. I'm not going to do it for each and every single person. It seems like a waste of fucking time. Fuck you, bitch. I ain't answering. Let's go figure out when, uh, when she died. Because we don't have that. We only have the year. I'm not going to fuck it up this time. Watch. Now what did I do? I did not Who? Oh, fuck you! Was that fu you, bitch? Fucking bastard tree! Oh! Thank you for the bits either way. Son of. <laughs> oh, fuck me! Oh, she did it again! Fuck! Oh, that was goddamn assisted double play right there between tree and old bitch. Okay, did we get this done? Thank you! Jesus Christ, that took so fucking long. Oh my god. Alright, let's go to the fucking room that does, um... Yeah, the, in, the, this stuff. I want to see if I can get something to work here. Oh! Yep. What? Bro! Oh, it's a teddy... It's a blue teddy bear. Okay, that was terrifying. I hate everything about that. Blue teddy bear. Toy. The color of the toy shows the color of the murderer's eyes. Eyes are blue. Alright. So, let's see. Who has blue eyes? He does. Dorothy! Yellow eyes? She's innocent. Andrew? Blue eyes, he's potential. Taylor? I, I don't know why this is not working. Taylor's yellow eyes, innocent. Okay, so it's either Arthur or Andrew.
That's where she was. It appears Arthur was also at the same location. Was Andrew also there? <laughs> Shock and awe. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> oh my god! You fucking bitch! Stop! 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 Jesus fuck! Oh my god! Just let me do my fucking job! I'm trying to do the right thing here. Put the seismic dose in the stand, make sure that the ritual candle is lit, throw the runes on the table from the bowl. Put those of them that lie with the sign up back in the bowl. Okay, so throw them from the bowl. Put those of them that lie with the sign up back in the bowl. Clear the table and throw the runes from the bowl. How do I... I don't want to put it back in there. Do I just do that? Oh, okay, I see. Be the problem still there's only one rune left on the table. If there are runes at the table to sign up, then you cannot tell anything useful. Okay, so again, only put the ones with the runes up back in. Flip them. It's an R. Ripo! Ripo, Ripo, read all about it. Where's Ripo? Ripo. 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 Oh boy. Why am I not finding Ripo? Oh, right there, five. Journey, relocation, person has found a new home. Five. Okay. That doesn't necessarily mean... Oh, shit. Double shit, I took the long way. Don't you dare come upstairs. S stay down there. Woo! Alright, back in here. Shut up. Alright, spin him and flip him. Two go back in. Spin him and flip him. One goes back in. Spin him and flip him. That is a uh, arrow pointing down? Or is it... Oh, it could just be going the other way. It's a double arrowed versus a one arrow. That's Tav Tawas, the god of Tyr. Person hides or changed his name. Um, found a new home is one thing. Hides or changed his name? I think we know who fucking did it. Let's go get this done. There's my table right there. Going for it. Nope, fuck you. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no. So I think Andrew did it. The clues are, I mean, kill use the false identity, use the runes, he changed his name. Um, so, how do we do, so, person ha so we got to put, send the results of the victim's reading of the tarot's card, the result of the killer's reading of the runes. Yeah, that connects him, right, okay, we got it. Boom, baby. 
It seems that our preacher not only decided to play the role of the grandson, but also speed up the process of obtaining an inheritance. I got confirmation from the organizers of the lottery, so his grandmother was really that lucky, well, more or less. And our grandma, as it turned out, remained poor until her death. She spent all the money she earned on books, cards, and other fortune-telling tools. They are worthless to anyone but you. I have only one remaining suspect, Judge Brooks. He released several of our uh, several of the criminals that were found by our old woman, and she, in turn, helped lock several of his wealthy but dubious sponsors. They hated each other. Brooks retired several years ago and was happily forgotten by everyone. I will try to find out what he's doing now. Hmm. Betcha he's dead. Day 10. Murder at a masquerade. Our investigation has reached a dead end. I don't know what to do anymore. I thought Judge Brooks just moved out of town, but it turns out he died two years ago. In 1902, Judge Brooks was a significant figure who made the city what it looks like today, for better or for worse. It was said that he was going to run for mayor. His murder still continues to worry several influential people. This people were with him at the time of the murder. They saw the woman who killed him. The problem is that the murder took place during a costume party at his home at Fifth Durham Road. We sifted out all the guests and servants who had an alibi. You will receive files of others. Maybe if we solve his murder, we will have new evidence on our old woman's case. I know that chance is small, but I have no I more ideas left. <clears throat> okay. So we have to send the killer's dossier. If the market sent where the killer was at the hour of the crime, we have to send the killer's distinctive feature by performing dousing on the victim. Okay. Dousing is the, um, looking for the item. I forgot it's called dousing because they have dousing rods. And then send the killer's seeker by performing the rune reading on him. Oh my god. There's quite a few people here. And why did she put all this shit in all these different rooms? Why can't we move it? I am the sun. I am the moon. I am justice. Cool. We got the magician. I feel like I've seen that one before. Kill use false identity. Use the runes. Yep. Great. All right. Um, so that's helpful. Uh, so now we need to go downstairs again. August 14th. August 14th. Leo. Fire. Pi symbol. Whatever the fuck that is. Look at that one right there. It's the four. There we go. Uh, excuse me. So it's fire. First letter of the name, F. F is an eight. Red go no. Red goes to eight. If the surname has identical letters, it does. Killer the surname is the first one. B. B is 2. Blue goes to 2. Now, we sure know half of this shit anyways. August 2102. August. Did I say 21st? Yeah. So, do we have that right? Month should be 8. Yes. Day should be 21. Yes. 7 a.m. <laughs> now what? It's literally the right day. 1902. August, the 8th month. 21st day. How is that wrong? Oh, because that's nighttime. At 12 hours, it's actually 19. Yay! Scuzz bucket. I was so close. It's upstairs. What was it? I heard it. Blue teddy bear. So the killer. Fuck you! So the killer has blue eyes. Killer has blue eyes. Cool. Now, 
We go round over. We have the time of death. Let's place the body of Frederick Brooks at the time of the death. So the hour was 19, right? Everything else is right there. Eighth month. 21st day, 1902. Again, that's... Oh wait, what did I just do that for? 1908-2102. 1908-2102. Cool. Where were you? Five Durham. Great. Oh, before we do that... Uh, killer's blue eyes. Brown eyes? Innocent. Blue eyes. Mm. Blue eyes. Black eyes. Innocent. Green eyes. Innocent. Blue eyes. Mm. Azaria. Brown eyes. Innocent. <clears throat> All right, cool. We chopped off over half of them with that. I didn't realize we should have done that before. But that leaves us down to three. Edward Porter, who is the mayor. Christopher Riley, who is a journalist. And Kayla Jenkins, who apparently uh, Frederick had a... Um, a connection with for the family so interesting I, I i have to say it points towards edward porter who's the mayor frederick brooks was thinking about running against him i i'd be shocked if it was riley because he stuck around for a year kayla jenkins i feel like she needed frederick brooks although maybe she was mad he was stepping down that could be it too so okay let's see who's at five durham road Five, Durham Road. Oh, you know he was there. Christopher Riley was also there. Was Kayla Jenkins there? She was not. She was on 10 Highfield. She wasn't there. So she's innocent. So is this Edward or Christopher? My money is on Edward. If it's Christopher, I'd be shocked. I really would be shocked. Because he was there for a year... And then goes, all right, I'm moving back to New York. We know he's in New York. But then again, Edward Porter was, is the fucking mayor. I don't know. We're going to go change the candle and head back upstairs. That's all I know. It's coming. Here it is. I knew it. I knew it. You can't do it. No, mm -mm. I knew, I knew it was coming. You didn't scare me. You didn't fucking scare me. Bitch. Alright. Edward's up first. Let's go. Put them all in. Shake. Drop them. The runes go back in. Shake. Drop. The runes go back in. Shake and drop it. Okay. Since this D... Which is Purisas. Purisas, giant, new post. The target has lost or found a new job. Oh. So, Edward Porter lost a new job? Interesting. Okay. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ! Come on! Let me do my fucking job, you bitch! Oh. Um. Upside down M looking thing? Oh, right there. Manaz. Person. Person hides or changed the gender. Wow. Okay, so he really is. He hid him. He's hiding. Hid the gender, that is... Or change the gender, he's changing his identity. It was fucking Christopher Riley. Wow. Okay. You got me. Let's go book him. Christopher Riley. Market center where the killer was at the hour of the crime. As you can see, he died... Durham Road 5, there he was, same date and time, location. Killer's distinctive feature by performing dousing on the victim. <coughs> Killer's blue eyes. 
Send the killer's secret by performing the rune re reading on him. First has to change the gender. Let's go. Magic bean Yahtzee? Yes. This young reporter sacrificed his morality and went for murder to help the town. He pretended to be someone else to commit murder, and this gave me an idea. There was something missing in the death of our old woman. She had no debts. She had... Oh, hello, Tater. Scared the shit out of me. She had no debts. She had no enemies left who wanted her death. The only few people she spoke to before the murder have alibis. I checked everybody, even you, except one. I used to think she was killed in her sleep. Perpendicular wounds. Strength that decreased with every blow were suggesting that. But there's another option. Suicide. She staged a robbery, then put a knife to her chest and began stabbing herself as long as she could. She did everything to make her death look like the murder of our, of our parents, so that we could start an investigation, so you can take her place. All of this is part of her plan, and I'm afraid that soon we will find out exactly what she's up to next. Fuck. Fuck. Day 11. Shot next door. Tunnel? What does the tunnel have to do with this madness? I'm sorry, but right now I can't discuss your nightmares. I couldn't get enough sleep myself. I saw how my boss died die yesterday. I stood a step away from him. There was a loud clap and a bullet pierced his chest. An eerie sight to behold. What worse is that we were in our department at Piner Street 4th. Judging by the trajectory, the shot was fired from the roof of one of the neighboring buildings. To complicate matters further, the boss announced the upcoming layoffs last month. We suspect it could have been one of us. Send the killer's dossier. Margaret said where the killer was at the hour of the crime. He couldn't be ne he couldn't be near the target. Right, he has to be across the street or something. <coughs> One of the neighboring buildings. Send the killer's distinctive feature by performing dousing on the victim. Send the relation to the killer by performing tarot reading. <sighs> <coughs> this is a lot. The Herophant. The High Priestess. The Hanged Man. <coughs> the Fool. Justice. There we go. And it is the Chariot. Seven. The Killer is a Colleague. Okay. <coughs> That's good. We got something. Let's go change the candle out. Go we'll do this fucking wheel. Finally! It took it till the last chapter. A pillow? Okay. Can't say I uh, realize much about pillows. <coughs> pillows, huh? Clothing, painting, books, fireplace, clocks, be oh, bed. Murderer is a 29 year old or younger. Okay, that's something to work with. Are you 29 or younger? Yes. Are you 29 or younger? No. Innocent. 29 or younger? Yes. Oh, God. Okay, it only eliminated one person. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> now we got to figure out location. We're going to figure out exactly where Brooks died, which is going to be the station. Um, we're just going to confirm that's where he was. Anyone that was at the station at the same time is innocent, which is funny because usually if you're there, that means you did it. But the shot came out from... A neighboring building. So if they're in there at the same time, they're innocent. If they weren't... Let's go. Now let's take Samson. Were you there as well? Yep, it's four Piner, right? Yep. Patrick... Patrick! Oh. oh shit. Gotta go fix the light. Fix the light before it fixes you. If you don't fix it, you are gonna die. Ah! Sick and tired of you doing that. It's not funny. 
All right. So Patrick was not there, so he's not looking too hot. Oh, shit. Neither was uh, Freakazoid George Cook. However, Samson Stevens was at Fort Piner Street. He's innocent. <clears throat> so, let's come down to this. Patrick Whitney or George Cook? And we need the runes to determine this for us. Patrick's up first. <coughs> um, I think that's the D thing. Yeah, it's a D. It looks like D, pure sauce. Yeah, I'm going to go with D. It's pure sauce. And that is three. Giant new post target has lost or found a new job. And I think that tracks... We didn't have time to raise the chief's document to check whether he is hiding his firing or not. Okay. That's big. Georgie, what do you got? Um, let's start over. <clears throat> Shut the fuck up. I said shut up. I'm busy. One... Ah, uh, it's an F. This is Ansus. Ansus God, a crisis or a finding of a new faith. Four. So, <clears throat> a crisis or a finding of a new faith compared to the killer's a colleague. Target's lost or found a new job. I, I think it's Patrick Whitney. A crisis or a finding of a new faith. He, I just knew he just he changed a lot. I, I guess I don't I think it's George. George is weird. He's fucking weird. But I don't think it's George. I think it's Patrick. Okay, dossier. Patrick Whitney. Clues. Market said where the killer was at the hour of the crime. He couldn't be near the target. So he was at Seven Pinner Street. Send the killer distinctive feature by performing dousing on the victim. We determined murderer is a 29-year-old or younger, and Patrick was like 26 or something. And so they relationship to the killer by performing tarot reading. The tarot reading was the killer is a colleague. That's all I got. Okay. I guess it just has to be the other one. <laughs> George, uh, where he was, distinctive feature by dousing, relation to the killer. Got it. We found a makeshift altar in his house with two photographs on it. Our photos. Cook didn't want to kill our captain. He aimed at me. My colleague, a policeman, tried to kill me. And you should be next. I don't know what is threatening this town, but now it's gunning for us. I, I need a drink. Oh. I have nothing. What do I do? There's no more mirrors. Oh, fuck. Just do it. Get this over with. We have to go talk to her, I bet. I don't get it. What am I doing? Jesus fucking Christ. Right, she was pointing upstairs. I can't go upstairs, Grandma. Oh. We. Oh, this is hell. Did what the hell was that? I just missed it. Oh, sh okay, I didn't miss that. 
Stop! I just want to get to that island. It looks important. Ah, what the fuck was that? Day 12. Oh. To be continued.